Hi everyone, this is Sarah at Health by Sarah. Today I want to share with you birth affirmations and why they would be important. Now, birth affirmations aren't something that I focused on in my first labor and birth or even before any of that happened. I didn't think they were that important. I actually thought they were kind of cheesy. But um, this time around, I'm doing things a lot differently. I'm trying to embrace all the different um, pieces of advice to help me have a positive and much better birth and outcome than I had last time. Although I didn't have any complications um, and I didn't have to have a C-section, I did have an epidural and an IV, which I both wanted to avoid. And um, this time around, as I said, we've been doing stuff a lot differently. And as of the recording of this video, I am 38 weeks pregnant, so the baby could come here at any time um, in the next couple weeks or maybe even longer. You never know when he will actually go into labor and give birth. Um, but today I have a number of Bible verses and um, also statements that are birth affirmations outside of the Bible that I want to share with you that I have found to be very encouraging and inspiring. Also, we recently attended a birth class where the doula who uh, was conducting the class, she gave us one of these birth affirmations. It's on some really pretty cardstock and it says, there is no way to have a perfect birth and about a million ways to have a great one. So it's very positive and it's kind of nice too because you can actually decide to color it in if you want. Um, and on the back there's some positive affirmations about birth and room to fill in some of your other ones. Um, now for the Bible verses and the statements that I'm going to share with you, I actually decided um, to go farther than just simply printing them out. I edited each statement in Canva to make it look very pretty and welcoming. And if that's something that you would like to, I encourage you to do that as well. Um, just because um, for me personally, it just makes it a more positive and encouraging experience to see pretty colors and pretty designs. Um, so let's jump into those Bible verses. The first one is from Matthew 7:7, 7, 7, and I have to give credit to another fellow YouTuber, Tabitha Kelly. Um, when I met with her a couple weeks ago, she shared with me that uh, this verse she kept on meditating during the birth of one of her sons, and she had one of the most amazing births with him and labor. So it's ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. So that one's very encouraging. The next one is from Jeremiah 29 11. For I know well the plans I have in mind for you. Plans for your welfare and not for your woe, so as to give you a future of hope. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. Do you not know, have you not heard? The Lord is God from of old, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives power to the faint, abundant strength to the weak. Though young men faint, faint and grow weary, the youths and youth stagger and fall. They that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary walk and not grow faint. Now that last part especially speaks to me because I was pretty weak and running out of energy um, towards the middle of my daughter's labor. Romans 15 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all your worries upon him because he cares for you. This one especially speaks to me because I had so much fear um, 
and even through this pregnancy, but in the first labor I had with my daughter, um, I was in a hospital and it was a very stressful and fearful setting for me. So this time around, we're doing things a lot differently and I'm going to be in a birth center. Um, I have a doula lined up, thankfully. Um, I'm gonna do a water birth, at least that's the plan. Um, there's so many other things I'm doing differently this time. And while I was researching the Bible verses that were inspirational, encouraging, and other statements, um, and just simply praying to God to take away my fear and asking people to pray for me, I feel like a lot of my fears are gone. Um, and some of those fears are, what if I can't handle the pain? Because I had an epidural the first time, so how do I know if I can handle everything this time? And what if I have another long and hard labor like the last time? Um, so again, this first Peter verse speaks to me because it says, cast all your worries upon God because he cares for you. So if I do that, if I think about that, then it helps get rid of my worries. Joshua 1.9 Be strong and steadfast. Do not fear or be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Do not fear. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and steadfast. Have no fear or dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who marches with you. He will never fail you or forsake you. And these are all so encouraging. The last two I read um, are do not fear, do not be afraid. And did you know that do not be afraid or do not fear is mentioned in the Bible 365 times. And some people argue that that's for each day of the year to remind us not to be worried because that's what we do as human beings. We just worry and we fear. So God doesn't want us to be that way. He wants to take those fears away from us. Philippians 4.13 I have the strength for everything through him who empowers me. Those are the last of the Bible verses. And the, the next ones, as I said, are very encouraging statements as well. My body was made for this. I am enough. My body is enough. I am choosing love, not fear. I can do this. Now this one I might have to repeat many times in one of the birth videos that we saw in our birthing class um, and actually in one of Ina Mae Gaskin's books, one of the birthing stories I heard. Um, the woman was chanting with her birth team, like her husband and other people in the room, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And it really turns things around when you are positive like that. I feel confident, I feel safe. I am powerful. I am relaxed and calm. And those are all the ones that I have come up with that really fit well with my personality. Now, your personality might be completely different than mine and you might need something completely different. So I encourage you to um, really research this. Um, one other thing I wanted to share is to find a good podcast to listen to. I found one that spoke to me a little better because some of the podcasts I listened to before sounded a little cheesy to me and I didn't connect with them. But this one's called Sweet Stella's Guided Meditations. Birth Affirmations uh, is the title. And it's from February 26th, February 22nd, 2016. So I'll share a link to that below as well. I hope you have found this video to be helpful. And I would really love to hear about your experience and any advice that you have in the comments below. So just let me know. And until next time, bye.